Hey guys, Next2 here, and welcome back to Lakeview Valley. In the last episode, we got our first ending finally, after so many tries of just this game. And now, we have two more endings that I'm now, I know very vaguely about how to get. But before that, there's something I recently learned from my fun little info broker. And it's that these little sparkles here apparently are memories of I don't know who. And you have to buy a Dreamcatcher from Amy on Sunday to uh, see these dreams, and you have to buy the one that correlates to the color. So, the most expensive one, if I remember, was 1,000, and I think the other was 500, and the other is like 100, and, oh yeah, ignore that popularity. But, uh, if I want to buy them all, I'm gonna need to get more money, so, I know I could just buy it and reset it, but I don't know if that will mess anything up, and I kinda want to just get them all in one go. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is reset the game, or reset the week, do everything all over again, but just get my money because your money carries over. Uh, I'll kill, but maybe I'll kill people that aren't important because Luann is dead and I don't know if I need her or something. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do all that and then um, I'll be back here. So we'll see you in a bit. Come on, did you honestly think I was going to leave this out? You know how much I love this. This is probably just the only thing I like doing about this game, honestly. That's a lie, I love the whole game, but... Come on! The Sheriff's Lament is literally my favorite thing in this game. It's so good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something with it, I'm gonna figure a way. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I will, I must. Okay, let's get out of here now. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, Morgo's actually doing his job this time and killing people. Also, this line here makes me very suspicious of Amy now. You played your part perfectly, but now I have no more use for you, so off with your head, bitch. So Amy has something to do with this, clearly. So some of the villagers might actually be in cahoots with Morgo secretly, which is kind of interesting. Um, what? This is way different than I've ever seen it before. It reset the week, but I still have all my powers. What? I don't know if that's supposed to even happen, but that makes everything ten times more easier for me. Holy shit. Whoa, this is different. I was being chased by the wolf person, and I decided to go see Morgo because I was going to get some uh, syringe, the, what's it called, the syringe that kills one person in one hit to see if it'd kill her. And uh, now we're having a text event, apparently. Morgo! Oh, Carol, you came all the way, uh, all the way here for me? I see your condition has gone worse, love. You know they sell razors with three blades these days. <laughs> All these years you profited off me, or from me. I want them back. Have you had your flea bath today? You seem angry. I can see through you now. You owe me my life back. No, it seems that you're on the dumb end of the leash, Carol. So try and listen or I'll yank it. You don't owe me anymore. Remember what you said to me that night. You said you'd never leave me, but here we are. Shut up, I did everything you asked. Not everything, Carol. My love for you knew no boundaries, and I asked for only one thing. Trust. Try to learn something here, Nick. She crossed me when I was weak, and look at her now. Fuck you, Morgo. I'll kill you and your little friend. Please put her down, Nick. Oh, yeah, I can't see. I can't see her. Oh, well, she's dead now. I literally can't even see her, but okay. What's up, Morgo? That's what I thought you'd say. Child, it is time for the judgment. Wait a minute. I see you already have been judged. And you have been deemed worthy of the gift. Hallelujah. Continue on this path, and good things will follow, my child. Cool. Alright, so we're officially back, and I'm insanely rich now. Look at all this money I got, 2,560. So it's time to buy some dream catchers and become... <sighs> plot. Yeah, we're turning into the plot. That's what's happening. Hey, Amy. Oh, can't talk to you. This one, sorry. Yup. Buy this one. Doink. Oh, I can't pick that up. Uh, eh, stop, six pick it up okay yep buy that and we'll buy that 
just drop the fishing rod because it literally is useless. And let's get this. Alrighty, we got all the fishing rods. Now time to find the memories, and there is one right here, so I will do this first. Uh, where is it? Alright, for the first memory now. Let's do this. Dream caught. Oh. Is that it? What happens now? I'm so confused. Oh yeah, I have this doll. I don't know what that is. I dug it up. What is the point of this? Dream release, dream caught. I'm so confused. Do I have to sleep in order for it to continue? Alright, uh, since it's a dream catcher, I assume you can only use it when people are dreaming, so... I'm gonna use it. Hopefully something that. Oh, something is happening, whoa. Oh, this looks like old Ruth. How nice to see you, my sweet child. Oh, it's Luann. What's wrong? Can Auntie Ruth help you? I saw you. I saw you with her. What are you talking about, dear? I saw you with Mary that day. Oh, I see. Now listen to me. Whoa, you didn't see anything, you stupid little bitch. You'll forget everything and never talk about it again. Do you understand, you fucking cunt? Oh my god. Y yes. Stay out. Say it out loud or I'll rip your fucking tongue out, little girl. I didn't see anything. I'll forget it and all never happen. Ah, and never talk about it again. Whoa. Auntie Ruth, I missed you. I've missed you, sweet and lovely child. Now, what would you say about some ice cream? Yay. Whoa. So, what's her name? It's something to do with Ruth. Also, I have to go back now because apparently I can only look at these when I'm dreaming. Which means, and the only time I can get it is on lake day. So, it's just an endless cycle now. That's fun. Alright, this is the second one. Ooh. Could you take care of her today? Oh, is this Mary? Of course, I'd love to. Oh, stop frowning. I'm sorry, but I told you you have work. I told you I have work to do. I don't trust her. Don't say that. I'm sure you will have a fun day. Hmm. Okay. This is getting interesting, actually. I don't know what that means. I don't get it yet, though. All right, this is the next one. All right. No, they're both gone. I don't want to understand. I, I don't understand this. Yes, how horrible. And where's Amy? She's with me. I can't bring myself to take her to a foster home. Me and my husband would gladly take her out of your hands. Thank you. But I promised to him that I would take care of her if something was to happen. Well, if you ever change your mind, we'll be here. I'll keep that in mind. You're a good person, Ruth. Thank you. Uh, so something- Ruth has a backstory, and so does, like, Luann and the Sheriff. They all have to do- they all did something. Like, something happened. I don't- I don't know, I can't piece it together yet, but they play roles in it. Oh, we found the next one. Whoa. Oh, is this the witch? Trust me, there is no more to this life than just serving others. Whoa. Oh yeah, because there's a picture in the frickin' preacher's house of the witch and him. That's weird. I've devoted my whole life to serving other people. I can't just... And what did you see in return? Nothing. I never thought I'd just... Let go of your morals. You deserve pleasure. You deserve power. That does sound enticing. I just don't know. I don't want people to ju... I can show you pleasure unlike anything you've felt before. Oh, I... I think I like that. So, who did he become then? So the preacher took- Why did- That's so hypocritical. The preacher will freaking kill you if you break any of the rules, but he broke the rule and got with the freaking devil, basically. But, what happened to him afterwards? Because he appears, but that's the only time you ever see him. I don't even know. Alright, this is the next one. So let's get moving. Trust me, there's more to life than just serving others. 
I have devoted my life to serving other people. I can't just... And what did you receive in return? Nothing. I never thought I deserved... Let go of your morals. You deserve pleasure. You deserve power. That does sound enticing. I just don't know. I don't want people to ju- I can show you pleasure like on an, any, unlike anything you felt before. Oh, I, I think I'd like that. Alright, this is the next one. What did you want to talk about? Oh, this is Mary because she's wearing the necklace. Yeah, this has to be her. Yes. Firstly, I want you to know that I'm not judging you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your boyfriend. Wait a minute. I don't know what you've heard, but I have put all that behind me. I already said that I'm not here to judge you. I just want to reunite the two of you. Is this a sick joke? He's dead. You know that. Oh, really? Follow me and I'll prove you wrong. Please stop this. I- Wait. Is her boyfriend Morgo? But then who's Carol? This doesn't make sense. I have to get back home. My husband's waiting for me. Now listen here, you fucking whore. You will come with me or I'm telling your husband everything. Whoa. She's, so she used her powers a lot in her youth. Which is strange how she didn't use it to fight off me or anything when I'd kill her. But whatever. Why are you doing this? Anything for our queen. Now shut up and follow me. Oh, Luan Saul. Also, why is her hair not purple? I guess she dyed it? I don't know. Uh, anyways, at least we now... S so Ruth did a lot. She contributes a lot to the story now that I think about it. So she does work for the queen or the witch. Which is very interesting. But it also makes sense because in hell she was being praised instead of tortured. But what her power is weird. So Luann saw Ruth talking to... Or like blackmailing Mary... And then when Luann confronted Ruth, Ruth brain or like mind controlled her and like erased her memory or whatever. Oh. Oh yeah, I didn't kill anything, so this is an this is some text I never saw. This is a disappointment. I can't believe that thing came from your seed. You promised me screaming, you promised me blood. You don't understand the power. This is just one of the paths that had to be taken. They need to suffer, all of them. And they will. Don't underestimate the strength of my seed. Time is on their side. They have no escape. You'll have everything you want. Their happiness, it sickens me. It never stays. Happiness is fleeting. It will only be a little while. It, would on it won't be long until they become numb to it. And when they're numb, all empty things get thrown out the window. I never understood empathy, but I always enjoyed watching people suffer because of it. There's a time for it, and a place. Feeling a little sentimental? Forget her already. Not my choice. I'm bound to her. Ah yes, the late god can truly have a twisted sense of humor. Just remember what you promised. I wonder what your wife would say if she knew what you, what you were doing with another woman. She's not my wife. Not anymore. I, I guess she never was. She sounds fun. You just make sure to keep your end of the bargain. Or I'll bring you back as a pesky rat, a little rat, or maybe a slimy frog. Oh, so Red is the frog. Yeah, Red's the frog. You don't want to cross me. I'm here because you need my seed. Yes, your magnificent time-traveling sperm has truly shown its strength. That's not how it works. Our child is bound to one specific week. The curse is working. It's just a matter of time until you see its true potential. Oh, so we're cursed into the week. That's cool. So the week is endlessly looping. It's because of me. Like, only me. I endlessly am stuck in this week, I think. I don't know. The week keeps moving because it's a curse, okay? That's, that's what you need to get out of that. It will kill. Alright, that's the next one. Please, my love. Don't make me do this. You will do it. You do want to please me. Trust me, we need to prove ourselves. Imagine the power. I know, I know. Straight from the middle, was it? Oh. oh so that's how she got that cut. Oh. Deeper, cut me deeper. Oh, no. That, oh, that's so gross. How do you even do that? Because, like, it wouldn't even fit in there like that. What? Come on, man. That doesn't make any sense. And another one. 
What happened? Was it the same nightmare? Yes, the same. Do you want to talk about it? I saw a woman, the same woman. She said, she said that I was a mistake, that I will be replaced. It was just a dream. Don't worry, nothing can ever replace you. She said that our world will shatter, that we will be cursed for all of eternity. I saw things with horns waiting to eat us all. No more scary movies for you, my dear. Just try to think about happier things. Now get some sleep. Hmm. So. Uh, so some. So the witch somehow Luann's connected to the witch. That's very interesting. I don't know anything about Luann now that I think about it. We know little snippets about all the other characters. But we know nothing about Luann. We know nothing about Jimmy. We know nothing about Matthew. Besides that he's gay. Which you guys did not know. I learned that off camera and uh, it's interesting. But um... Yeah, there's a lot of characters we don't know anything about. We don't know anything about Matthew's wife, that the bank lady. We don't know anything about little Bobby besides what he does in hell. Uh, we don't know anything about the sheriff's backstory. We don't know a lot of things about half of the characters actually. Alright, next one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think I can take you care of you anymore. Why? Look, I'm sure you'll be happier living with Ruth and... No, I will not live with them. You will take care of me, and also I want ice cream. Well, that settles it then. What flavor would you like? Strawberry. Huh. That didn't help me at all, actually. Alright, this appears to be the last one. Hopefully, I didn't forget any, like an idiot. I really hope so, because I don't want to have to come back. Spare me your lies. I know he can't be the real father. I don't understand where all this is of this is coming from. You must be jealous. I saw you with another man, a red-haired man. You must have been dreaming. Don't you have any real crime to investigate? <laughs> you. You. You are corrupting our town. Are you getting angry, thinking of hitting a pregnant woman? No, I would never do that. <laughs> you should try it. Might feel liberating. Horrible wench. So, did the sheriff kill her? So he knew she was up to something. And also, apparently, they he has a theory that the preacher wasn't the actual preacher. Because the preacher would never, like... I'm so good. <gasps> oh, okay. I don't understand the whole story, but I get this much. The preacher was convinced that this baby was his, but it was actually Red's baby. And I'm pretty sure their baby is me, since they keep calling me the seed. And apparently I'm called the contestant, according to that one fiend that told that, like, the fiends, when they greeted me, they all called me the contestant. So I'm pretty sure the witch gave birth to me as the contestant. And I was sent back to this place to kill everyone because I think the sheriff killed her. I don't know. I think the sheriff killed her at some point. I don't know what happened to Red. I guess he got killed too. And then, yeah, it makes sense. The sheriff probably killed both of them. Don't know what happened to the preacher. I guess he vanished or something. And then Red was re-put back on this planet as a frog for some reason. And... But I don't know why he'd call me uncle. Wouldn't, he call me, wouldn't I be calling him dad? Whatever. We're going to ignore that aspect. And then I'm the I'm this thing's offspring. And I was sent back to get revenge on all the people. Because uh, they killed her. I'm pretty sure. That's my theory at least. God, I'm so sick and tired of this. I'm finally done with all the uh, memories or echoes. Whatever you want to call them. And from what I've gathered from all those echoes, it doesn't help me. It gives me slight, like, hints towards what might have happened, but I don't know yet, still. So, Ruth got powers from the witch. I don't know when this happened, and I don't know what it has to do with anything. Luann clearly is capable of sensing this somehow. Or maybe she just happened to see too much. And she caught Ruth. Ruth erased Luann's memory. Something happened to Luann's actual family. I'm assuming Luann's actual family is maybe Mary. 
But then again, Jimmy's mom was Mary, as they saw. And she, we don't understand what happened to Mary. The preacher and the witch got together. And the witch made the preacher turn her into the witch. And then she got pregnant with Red. And pretended like it was her baby with Preacher. And then eventually, when she had the kid, somewhere along, or before, or after she had the kid, she got killed. And Red got killed. Red came back as the frog. And she gave birth to me. I came back to torture them all. Where Morgo comes in, no clue. But Morgo's apparently been around at that time period. And he just is, yeah. And also... Um, apparently Mary might have been in love with Morgo because they were talking about her boyfriend that died. But then that doesn't make sense because then who's Carol? Because Carol once loved Morgo too until she betrayed him. Or, he, yeah, she betrayed him or something. Or he betrayed her. Or he, someone used someone. I don't know. You guys help figure me, uh, help me figure out this whole backstory nonsense. It's making no sense to me at all. And it was a waste of my time because every time I needed to do this, like every memory I did, you sleep and it made the ending credits as you saw. Which means I had to restart the day. But anytime you sit at a bench for some reason after using the Dreamcatcher, uh, it just froze the game. So I had to keep closing it and opening again and it kept stopping my recordings and corrupting them so i had to end the recording close the game and reopen it and i had to keep doing this and it was oh it's just a nightmare so now i'm gonna do the ending i know i learned about uh apparently i didn't i need to find morgo somewhere or something like that after I, he kills everyone so we're gonna do that now okay so we're back at the morgo games and it's time to actually pay attention to what he's saying you left when they dragged me away, and now it's all over for you. Karma's a bitch. What about you, Don? This is it for your dear doctor. You won't poison anyone anymore. The most inhuman thing you had ever seen? Really? What the hell do you know about entertainment? Yeah, I think this has to do with the circus. I think he performed the circus act and everyone hated it or something. Uh, is it really enough to kill everyone? Like, jeez, Morgo. I remember you crying in the audience. I'll teach you to appreciate art. You're no better than me. Where's your mob now, you fucking bitch? You, you couldn't even protect her, you worthless coward. You were just jealous for the attention we were getting. It's not my fault you weren't cut out for the show business. I have to admit, I kinda like this one. Anger sometime is something I can understand too well. I don't think we've met, but I already feel great things in you. Now off with your head, little bastard. They didn't need help. They were happy with me. Now this is the price you pay. I guess I could call you brother. Nice to finally meet you. You ruined the whole act. You yelled so much that the others couldn't truly enjoy the show. I knew this one would enjoy this. I saw her lustful eyes during our act. And then him, he turned the blind eye to it all. Isn't that what he says? You fucking coward turned the blind eye to it all. You're just as deserving as the others. This is for taking Carol from me. She didn't need any help from you. Oh. Oh, so Ivan stole Carol? But Carol's a werewolf thing. What's that about? Uh, fucking hypocrite. You are a worse sinner than all of us combined. How dare you judge my art? Morgo's an art. You played your part perfectly, but now I have no more use for you, so off with your head, bitch. And the final person, the fisherman. Uh. A damn beast, I'll bite your deck off. Damn it, I need to kill him. Also, if you hit Morgo, this happens. Oh, come on, you wouldn't hurt a fly. Thank you for leaving, by the way. I promised I'd be back. I told you nothing could keep me down. Dang. Alright, well, that's everyone. Morgo. Morgo. Wait, what? Oh, you can wear their faces? It's so wrong. Oh, Morgo, why aren't you moving? Well, I think I broke Morgo. I don't know, though. Well, I ruined this again. So I guess I'm gonna kill the flies now, seeing how Morgo won't follow me or do anything anymore. Alright, this is the last fly. Yeah, I did it. Uh, my flies. It hurts. They were part of me. I... I... I can't. This can't be happening. Why is it so cold? 
Oh, jeez. What the hell? Stop. I give up. You win. You must be really proud of yourself now. You fool. I would have given you everything if you had asked. Well, time for the bad guy to die. Watch the credit rolls and give ourselves a pat on the back. Oh. <laughs> All of these years, I can finally see I was right. Death is truly the last form of art. Jeez. Well, there's more go. Why was this ending, like, one of the saddest? What the f- Man, Morgo is, like, one of the baddest characters. And he gets the freaking sincere ending. Game. You gotta load the ending credits, really? To say Mary, or whatever. It seems Morgo didn't- It seems Morgo did most of the work. I guess he wasn't as useless as I thought. You, on the other hand. I can't believe I trusted you and your rotten seed. Just give it time. How much longer do I have to wait? I want them to suffer for all of eternity. The curse is working. It's just a matter of time until you see its true potential. It will kill. Cool. This time around, Morgo just isn't even helping me. Hopefully he doesn't glitch out this time. Hey there, buddy. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. You're dead. She's dead. <laughs> I can't believe I won. They're all dead. Gone. Finished. You are a failure. You couldn't save them. Ooh, I haven't left like that in, I guess, never. Now, it's time for your big adieu. Enjoy the valley. It's yours. What? So what do I do then? Because he's just gone now. Are you happy too, Nick? Oh, this never happened. Oh my god, this never happened. Yes, I'm happy. I know, right? The thrill of blood, it brings a smile to my face. You were perfect, just perfect. Did you see the sheriff's face? <laughs> Ooh, I haven't laughed like that in, I guess, never. Now, we shall celebrate. Oh? Game. Aw. Oh. What the hell? Uh. Oh, this is one hell of a celebration, jeez. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Now this might be my best work yet, don't you agree? Uh, where'd the game go? Hmm. I guess that's it. You don't understand what I had to go through just to get that. For some reason, it didn't want to accept the fact that I murdered everyone multiple times. So I had to make a new save and murder everyone again. Just for that. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. We did it. Yay. I hope you all enjoyed. Check out my Twitter. Link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And then next episode, you'll probably stop torturing me. Hopefully. <laughs>